Welcome back. In 2015, Lucy Safarova reached her first and only major singles final at Roland Garros. She would also win two Grand Slam doubles titles that year and get to a career high number five in the world in singles. And we are so happy to welcome Lucy to Tennis Channel Live from the Czech Republic at home right now. Hi, Great to see you, Lucy. Uh, you just had your baby Leah in uh, December of last year. How is the family? How are you doing? Uh, we are great. We are um, home in Czech Republic here in Brno, and uh, she's growing fast. She's very chubby right now. And um, yeah, I'm actually starting uh, to get into the good routine with her. She's sleeping much better. <laughs> Well, being stuck at home, quarantine uh, for all effects and purposes, sort of like a normal mom with a newborn and, and dealing with everything in those first few months. But you can't quite have people come and visit you in the same way. Has it been a little tougher for you doing everything on your own? Do you have a little bit of help? Um, and, and how's that been going? How are you settling into the routine of it? Well, of course, it's it's tough times for everyone, I think. And um, it's really tough for tennis. And I feel very bad. But uh, here, honestly, I have my everyday routine with her and uh, uh, I'm lucky because my family is here too in Brno and we are just five minutes away. Uh, so uh, they come to still visit me and help me. So it's been, it's been good. It's been, it's been okay, I would say. But of course, it would be nice to visit all my friends who have kids because uh, also Andy Hlavačkova has a baby girl, but she's in Prague and we don't go there anymore. So it would be nice to visit more friends. Absolutely. Lucy, we are showing today uh, Roland Garros from 2015, a very special couple of weeks for you. Uh, you did not Definitely. drop a set <laughs> all the way getting to that final against Serena. What do you remember most from that run to the final? Honestly, it was just like, of course, probably best two weeks of my life there. And uh, I remember actually coming to the tournament and, you know, uh, those first practice day, days, I was feeling so bad. And I was saying to my coach, this is going to be so bad this year. I don't feel it. <laughs> and then I just started to play so well. Um, first uh, match was a little getting into it. And then... Uh, each of the matches was, I didn't have an easy draw. I, I beat Sharapova, Ivanovic, Muguruza. So uh, I was uh, having really tough matches going through it, playing some great tennis and uh, really enjoying every minute out there because the crowd was amazing. And um, I had my family coming over. So I had like over 30 people coming from Czech for the finals. And uh, yeah, it was just a dream come true, honestly. Well, you mentioned the match against Sharapova as well as Ivanovic, two top 10 wins on your road to that big final. Was there one match in particular, any one of those matches where it did click, where you did feel like, okay, I'm playing at a different level, maybe, maybe I can do this, maybe it can happen? It was probably the match against Sharapova when I went, uh, when I got this big win, I um, I played really well uh, in that match, but I also fe felt the confidence and uh, everything clicking together and uh, um, just continuing the flow after. What was interesting, watching the way you played and, and watching it now in hindsight, how aggressive you were, you didn't second guess yourself. You Earlier that year, won your first major in doubles, you would go on to win the Roland Garros doubles uh, in 2015, along with being the finalist. Was that a part of, of how your game just came together in those two weeks on clay? Was the doubles at the start of the year a big factor? It was actually because um, it was my, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just when I see it, it's funny, all those memories come back. And uh, it, I got the confidence from the doubles. I transferred into my singles game as well. And uh, uh, playing uh, with Bethany, uh, we just enjoyed it so much, having so much fun. And uh, uh, every day meeting her in the locker room and she make me laugh. And, uh, you know, sometimes you get nervous before the matches, but uh, having her next to me in the locker room, it just all like went away. And uh, as you said, in the matches, I was just going for, for my best shots and uh, felt really well and felt confident. And uh, that's how I, I knew I had to play like this to, to reach the finals. 
Well, you and Bethany have had tremendous success on the doubles court, winning multiple majors um, on all these surfaces. But you seem kind of like opposites in terms of your personality a little bit. I mean, she seems <laughs> we are. Your we're like black and How white. That work? <laughs> <laughs> we're we're complete opposite. She has everything like uh, uh, extra large, like big car, big house, everything, lots of bags carrying to the court. And I'm I'm exactly opposite. She has the biggest dog I ever seen. I have the smallest dog. <laughs> so in every factor, we are so opposite. But uh, uh, on the court, which is um, our games complement each other and also our personalities. So um, we became not only great players, but great friends, and I really miss it. <laughs> uh, you've got long hair. She's got short hair. Earlier in the show, exactly. we, we, we showed there a photo. You got everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take a look at this. Bethany had her husband, Justin, cut her hair because, you know, you can't go out to the salon these days. What do you think of her new do? I think Justin did an amazing job, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and I really like her hair this short. I think she it's it fits her personality and you know in quarantine I'm really lucky because I just keep my hair growing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so I think I'm 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 in better better shoes right now. <laughs> Well, it is great to see you, Lucy. Uh, stay healthy, stay safe with the Thank family you. there. In Same the for everyone over there. Stay safe and healthy. And uh, uh, thanks for having me. It was fun. All right. Hopefully we'll see you in person soon. Lucy Safarova, everybody. We will see her run continue on to the final here in singles. Roland Garros 2015 after this.